In the previous video, we looked at how to load rigs from computer and load all rigs from computer. In this video, we're going to look at how to save 11 rack rig to our computer, not to save 11 rack rig. We already know that if we're in here in the 11 rack editor, we make changes, then we can always save that to the 11 rack. We can give it whatever name we want. Just call it name. Okay, we have saved the rig. Of course, the same thing applies to the Avid 11 rack itself. Make changes, give it a name and save it. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how to back up the rigs that are on your 11 rack to your computer. So for that, we will need the 11 rack editor, the standalone editor. If you have a previous version of Pro Tools 10 or below, then you have an integrated editor that you can also use. This is all exactly the same, but we are using the free, by the way, 11 rack editor. And by the way, you don't even need Pro Tools at all to use the standalone 11 rack editor. So we've already opened up our 11 rack editor. Let's go ahead and make some changes here. We'll turn this on, turn this on. Actually, maybe we'll come over here and switch this out. Okay, we're just gonna make some random changes here to this rig. Very cool. And of course, we'll want to save this rig to the 11 rack. Of course, to the 11 rack first, we'll call this rig one. And let's actually put this in space one. Very good. So we've saved it to the 11 rack. We already know how to do that, of course. Now, in order to save this rig, to our computer, what we can do is come over here to save and go to save to computer. And then we can choose where we want to save this 11 rack rig to. Now, I mean, you could save it to your documents folder. That's where it's gonna drop you uh, automatically. It doesn't really matter where you save it. Uh, although I would suggest that no matter where you save it to initially, unless of course you save it to the uh, drive I'm gonna mention in a minute, no matter where you save it to, uh, you should have a place where you keep all of your 11 rack rigs. I keep all mine on my G drive everything all in one spot. That's just me. So no matter where you save to initially, have something, you know, whether backed up to the cloud, backed up on, on a different non-OS hard drive. What I'm gonna do, just for ease, is go to Downloads, and we'll just save this right into our Downloads folder. So pop into the Downloads folder, right there it is. Our rig one TFX file, our rig file. Okay, so we have saved one rig to our computer. Now we have another rig that we already made changes to. Let's save that to our computer so we can maybe upload it to 11rackpresets.com or to whatever site you're, or share it with a friend, whatever you want. So again, save, save to computer. And we'll choose where we want it to go on downloads. And we'll just save it there. Check our downloads folder. There it is. Okay, so now we know how to save 11 rack rigs to our computer. But now imagine you've gone through all of these 104 slots or maybe only 20 slots or however many slots and you have made a bunch of different rigs, uh, sort of like a set. Okay, so you make a bunch of rigs that you like. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's call it, I'll just call it rig two, even though it's like a technically the third one. We'll just put it here. Okay. So now so we'll just imagine that we've gone through and done that to a bunch of different rigs. How would we save all of these rigs at one time? Well, in order to do that, again, we'll come back to save and do save all rigs to computer. Now you may remember, in that previous video where we showed how to load all rigs from computer. So here, load all rigs from computer. And we talked about this XML file. Pop in here. So here's an XML file. Let me go ahead and just open this up here real quick, just so you can see what it looks like. So here it is. This is our XML file. This is the instruction set that loads all the rigs from the computer. And this is what we save when we're, whenever we use save all rigs to computer. Of course, we save the actual rig files, but then we save this instruction set. Basically, it just tells the 11 rack, it you know executes this code, then it says the hardware type, then the patch list, then the actual patches, the string that tells it you know the bank of where it is. It opens the bank, it closes the bank, it opens the file type, which is a string, but you don't need to understand what a string is. And then it looks for the exact name of the file, this exact name. And these files have to be within the same folder as our XML file, by the way. Okay, and this is what we end up saving. So this is a file that you need if you want to load all rigs from computer. And this is, again, what we save whenever we save all rigs to computer. Okay, so now we have, again, in our in theory, set up all of these rigs that we want to save all at one time so we don't have to go through and do save to computer, save to computer over and over. So we'll click save, save all rigs to computer, and then we'll navigate to wherever we would like to save these. Again, I'm just going to do downloads just for now and we'll call it my awesome rigs. Very cool. And click save. Now it's going to dump all of those rigs onto our hard drive right from our physical 11 rack. By the way, this is not a plugin. Some people get that confused because they see the, they see the interface and think it's a plugin. It's not. 
it's actually pulling the rigs from the Avid 11 rack through that USB cable and saving them to our hard drive. It's also going to create that XML file for us. Okay, and there we go. So of course, nothing has changed on our 11 rack or in the 11 rack edit here because we didn't load anything. Come back here. Let's go to our downloads folder. And right here, my awesome rigs. So these are all the rigs that we saved. Again, we had a bunch of the war rigs on there. But as you can see in here, we have my awesome rigs. That is the name of the XML file uh, that we created. It's the same name of the uh, folder, by the way. And you can you can also change the name of this XML file if you want. But as you can see, here's rig one, rig two, and name. Okay, so we have saved all of those rigs all at one time to our computer from our 11 rack. Okay, so that is what you want to do if you create a bunch of rigs that you want to sort of save as, as your own set, save them to your hard drive, and then you can share that entire folder. You could share this entire folder with someone, and they could then go in, instead of having to sort of piecemeal load in one rig at a time, they can just use that XML document there. They can come here and go load all rigs from computer. Here's my awesome rigs, and there's my XML file. Choose that, and it will load all of them onto our 11 rack. We're not going to do it because they're already, they're already on here. Okay, so that is how you would save rigs one at a time to computer, and that is how you save all rigs to computer so you can get that XML file, and then later on, you know, sometime in the future, you can load all those rigs at the same time right to your 11 rack, which is, by the way, how I save all of my rigs that I have made and, you know, shared on the 11 rack users uh, on the Blogspot site there. I do that save all rigs to computer and then just share all of those rigs at once. As we can go in here and we can see, here's the load all rigs from computer. That's all the rigs. And then our XML file. Pretty cool, right? So that's all of these rigs here. That's all the rigs. And there's the XML file. And that's, you know, what you download. And then later on, you can go and I can use load all rigs from computer and I can load all these rigs at once, test them out and just keep the ones uh, that I want. All right. So again, that is how you save your rigs to computer one at a time or save all rigs to computer uh, from your 11 rack by using the 11 rack editor, either the integrated one in Pro Tools 10 or lower or the free standalone 11 rack editor.